John fucking Wick. Indeed. Fuck. He's quite the imposition, is he not? Surely you must have known our disappearance would not go unnoticed. Oh, sure. I assumed your high table would try. Put up a contract, send someone sniffing around. I didn't think they dispatched the devil. I presume our present location is not on any maps. None. Nobody knows about this place. That's probably why your friend started searching at Edgar Wu's place in Chinatown. Mr. Wu is in your employ. He was. He ran everything south of 14. Made no secret of our relationship. Hell, he was proud of it. I honestly believed that Hex, you, were a fiction, a myth to keep the stuff in line. I worked hard on that, staying out of sight. Until you decided to kidnap us. Yeah, until then. You have a higher purpose, and that purpose requires certain theatrics. I always did enjoy a little theater.
Edgar's boys are rather unpleasant, if I recall correctly. Who among our kind are innocent? We are murderers, thieves, and worse. Speak for yourself. We live by a code. There are rules. True. For those without the vision to transcend them.
Gu made a last stand on safe ground. Safe? Nowhere in this city is safe. My people lack the protections and grand illusions of the high table. Nothing is sacred. We live outside your pageantry and false currency.
Edgar was loyal to the end. He told Wick nothing. A stronger man than many would be in his situation. I presume from your demeanor that this was not the end of Mr. Wick's search. Oh no. He'd barely begun. Why on earth did you bring us here, Hex? It has been wonderful catching up, I must say, but there are other matters we could both be attending to. You are the key to a particularly difficult lock. You see, the High Table who rule over your hotel, and the world beyond it, they're a mask. A palate facade, like all governments, over a simple truth. Power defines our place. Power defines our reality. The High Table has never been shy in this matter. All declare fealty. All must be of service. Well, maybe not all. All who wish to keep their heads? Hmm. The powerful. You see, they don't respect those who bend the knee. They celebrate them, flatter them, give them titles and lands and the illusion of self-determinism, but they don't respect them. Power respects power. To earn a place by their side, a man needs to demonstrate power. Is that why you plucked his en route? An attempt to demonstrate power? Mm, no. See, killing you on the steps of the Continental, on sacred ground, and fearing no repercussions. That demonstrates power. They will hunt you down. The adjudicator will... Will respect me. And my birthright. Please, continue your story. I wonder where Jonathan went next. Elysium. One of Wu's clubs. Cheap thrills and overpriced drinks. Its only admirable quality is its owner, a brawler named Osborne. Man after my own heart. Wick thought someone like Osborne would know where to find me. But to ask, he'd need to fight his way to the center of a fortress.
They say that Osborne worked his way up from dancer to bouncer to owner. An American success story. Yes, though that version of the story leaves out a few unfortunate accidents. Accidents? Rooftop falls, dislocated limbs, gunshot wounds. I see.
Osborne was outraged at Wick's intrusion. To break into his club, kill his men. The young caged bear decided to fight him. Osborne's tough, but he's not so smart.
Imagine such noise brought the crown. Yeah, you bet your ass it did. Osborne's men cleared the patrons, and then they rained down hell on him.
and such noise brought the crowd? Yeah. You bet your ass it did. Osborne's men cleared the patrons. And then they rained down hell on him. Imagine such noise brought the crowd? Yeah. You bet your ass it did. Osborne's men cleared the patrons. And then they rained down hell on him. such noise brought the crowd? Yeah. You bet your ass it did. Osborne's men cleared the patrons. And then they rained down hell on him. Yeah. <laughs> 
Osborne was a dead end, and that might have been the end of it. If Wick had taken a different exit route. He saw something. Crates. With my mark. Wick knew where they'd come from. The docks. That makes sense. The harbor has become a dangerous destination in recent weeks. A war brews. Many dinner reservations. The king is dead. Long live the king. He had a daughter. A woman grown. I imagine she felt there was a birthright to be exercised. A contested birthright. They always are. They can test mine, too. You see, my blood is a promise. My father sat on the high table. It is my right to do the same. You're Noel Hochstetler's son. He lost his seat when I was just a young man. He didn't lose his seat. It was stolen from him. Oh no, I'm sorry, my boy. Your father deserved the justice that found him. He did unspeakable things, broke every rule we have. Kings set laws. They're not judged by them. I am sure that the new harbor master felt the same way. I use the past tense. I assume, given her later meeting with Mr. Wick, that this is appropriate. It is. A powder keg about to explode. And Jonathan, a man possessed by fire.
A lot of tools on hand for Mr. Wick's craft, I imagine. We move everything the city needs to that harbor. Merchandise, people, weapons. The high table occasionally attempts to cut us off, but I protect my investments. War is brewing among the different crews. They're even better on than usual.
The harbor master. She knew of Mr. Wick's approach? Word reached her. She decided to make her last stand on her father's own ship. When the boogeyman comes knocking, the wise hide and make preparations. Quite the opposite. The wise know that no preparations can be made. We'll see.
She answered his questions, directed him to us. Pointed to the only person she knew who could reach me. Yoshiko. The forger. She is an artist. To the world above, she's an institution. But to us, down here, she's a master. There's not a painting she can't forge, a document she cannot reproduce to your exact specification. I have seen her work. Likely many more times than you realize. It's testament to her talent that those above let her work with men like our host. You'd have to be very useful indeed to be given such latitude. She's exhibiting her more public work in New York as we speak, I believe. You seem relaxed, Hicks. I am. You see, either Wick dies in that gallery at the hands of my men, or via the contingency I've set in motion. I wouldn't want you to miss your appointment on the steps of the Continental. <laughs> I've seen too many make the exact mistake you're barreling towards, thinking that they alone will succeed, where so many have failed before. <laughs>